We see the events that began to unfold in 2022 continuing in 2023. We do not believe inflation will magically move to the Fed's target rate in 2023, and this failure to meet the Fed's target inflation rate may lead to what we believe will be more interest rate hikes in the first half of 2023. However, we think we will see peak interest rates in the first half of 2023 and inflation slow down by the end of 2023. We believe that the federal fund may rise to 5.25% to 5.5% from the current 4.25% to 4.5%. But what's interesting about this is our belief that bond prices currently reflect most of this rate increase. As a result, our long-term perspective is to begin making shifts to increase our duration exposure. Increasing duration exposure may lead to an investment opportunity, especially if we experience a slower economy in 2023 or 2024, causing the Federal Reserve to reverse course and begin to lower interest rates. As a result, you will see what could be the beginning of an allocation shift into the more duration-sensitive Dunham Corporate Government Bond Fund. In addition, if the federal interest rate increases slow our economy, defaults on below investment grade bonds, also commonly known as junk bonds, may increase and may put downward pressure on our fixed income strategies. To relieve this downward pressure, the Investment Committee has begun shaving pieces off of the Dunham Floating Rate Bond Fund and the Dunham High Yield Bond Fund in favor of higher rated corporate and government bonds found in the Dunham Corporate Government Bond Fund. This shift increases duration exposure, which, as we previously mentioned, should serve our fixed income portfolios well for the long term, especially since investment grade bonds are now receiving more meaningful yields than a year ago. Turning our attention to the U.S. stock market, there was a split with the Dunham Investment Committee between those who believe we are currently in a recession and those who think we may be entering into a recession. However, the committee agreed that the equity market may see excessive volatility in the first half of 2023, with downside pressure on equities. Given this expectation, the investment committee increased the weighting to the Dunham Dynamic Macro Fund. We believe this fund brings a more dynamic and nimble investment strategy that can capitalize on both long and short positions within asset classes worldwide. You will see this allocation change in both the Dunham Core Equity and Core Alternative strategies. The equity allocation also moved to a slightly larger bias in the Dunham Large Cap Value, the Dunham Small Cap Growth Fund, and the Dunham Focused Large Cap Growth Fund as we reduced our exposure to the Dunham Small Cap Value Fund to possibly combat this expected downside pressure. While there was some discussion about increasing the value exposure a bit further, the committee felt that the run-up in value stocks in 2022 created better long-term valuation in certain growth stocks. On the international front, we believe that the developed markets have had some positive surprises, with inflation decreases and a warm early winter avoiding an energy crisis in Europe. Developed markets had a solid fourth quarter in 2022. We took some of the profits and rebalanced the foreign strategy to a 50-50 allocation between Dunham International Stock Fund and the Dunham Emerging Markets Stock Fund. We believe that emerging markets have attractive valuations and long-term could see a rally in the post-COVID markets ahead of us. Here are the changes made to the various Dunham Asset Allocation Strategies as of January 1st, 2023.